Hello and welcome to the show. Former President Barack Obama was speaking at a tech conference on Wednesday when he took a swipe at Donald Trump for his reliance on television and social media. Obama was weighing in on what made his administration a success, saying that surrounding himself with a variety of different viewpoints was key, but avoiding TV and Twitter also played a part in creating a smooth-running government according to Axios. Obama slammed the current White House repeatedly during the conference, criticizing a range of current issues from the number of indictments for crimes related to people within or associated with Trump's administration and the current president's predilection for focusing on his reception on social media and TV programs. Obama slammed Trump for his associates' legal problems, joking that not being indicted is becoming more unusual in the White House. I'm proud of the fact we didn't have indictments. I've said that before that is pretty rare in modern day, Obama said. He also explained that while he faced several challenging decisions, like whether or not to go after Osama bin Laden or whether he should bail out Chrysler during the recession, he was supported by people who would tell him directly what they thought and who didn't always share his opinion. He said that he felt this helped make his administration stronger. The other thing that is helpful is not watching TV or reading social media, he added. He later added that social media isn't just a problem for the president, but for citizens at large, because it enables people to live within their own bubbles with like-minded people. The former president also said that finding people with the right motivation as public servants was key. Are folks here because they want to serve the American people, he asked. As Trump's difficulty in retaining people in key government positions has dominated the news cycle for the past week, Obama revealed that he has had his own challenges with hiring. I won't say we enforced perfectly the no-jerk rule but it's a pretty good rule. I won't say who violated that rule, he said. While the former president has largely stayed silent on the current leader of the US, Trump has been frequently critical of Obama in the past. Most recently, the commander-in-chief is taking heat for attacking Obama for criticizing the former president for negotiating with the Taliban in the past. Trump famously planned to meet with leaders from the Taliban at Camp David before canceling the meeting at the last minute, as the Inquisitor reported. Thank you.